Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. In Moscow, an uh, international security conference is ongoing, and uh, foreign uh, military leaders, uh, obviously from the friendly countries, attend it, and uh, I'm not focusing on them. I'm focusing on the um, statements that uh, uh, President Vladimir Putin and, in this case, his defense minister, uh, Shoigu, Sergei Shoigu, made. And I think it was uh, during a speech, uh, Shoigu claimed or made some statements, not didn't claim, just stated bluntly, something that I was saying for some time. And uh, I think you uh, obviously came to the same conclusion because it's not uh, really uh, hard to figure it out unless you're a bottom feeder and you are uh, having an IQ below 86 and I don't think you and I uh, have that or we qualify for that uh, group. And um, what Shoigu said, um, said that the Ukrainian military operations, so the Ukrainian military operations were being planned by the United States and Britain. Ukrainian military operations were being planned by the United States and Britain. Uh, I'm surprised that this guy is just saying it like uh, tomorrow is, I don't know, Thursday or something, or Wednesday or whatever is tomorrow. Uh, it's, just, um, it's just the fact that this guy is, uh, uh, knows better and it's, I don't think there are doubts that uh, United States military is involved in this or the UK. These are the sponsors of Ukraine. This is their pet project and it's uh, the United States pet project. But like always, you know, uh, uh, Great Britain tries to attach itself and uh, show its relevance due to I don't know exactly what I think. I think I might be wrong. I think it's a nostalgia. And uh, which is great you can have nostalgia but i think it's nostalgia of the good times when it was the civilizer of the planet which was great i uh, i think uh, the british empire brought a lot of civilization to areas where uh, you know it helped like any other empire by definition it's not uh, you know uh, necessarily a good thing you do good things you do bad things like any any kind of leader and institution but it's not about britain here because britain is just the um, house servant of the club uh, united states is the big plantation master and the rest are bottom feeders you know the guys who cut the uh, sugar cane in the plantation right there those are the rest the allies when Americans are talking about the Allies, those are the Allies. And you know, uh, Great Britain is kind of like, uh, we are not kind of like, uh, you know, the plantation slaves, we are the house servant. They just steal, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, a while ago, which was maybe a, in the first month, within the first month of the, of the war in Ukraine, the, there were some claims that, um, I think the, there were some claims, obviously, that uh, there were advisors, military advisors, like in Vietnam, if you remember how those, no, in Vietnam and in, uh, in uh, I think it was also in, uh, in Korea, but I know in Vietnam, there were just military advisors, U.S. military advisors, who were not actively involved in a war, if you know what I mean. So uh, that was the first, uh, you know, what is going on here. The second one was when the United States uh, provided the military provided uh, HIMARS uh, missile launcher sy launching systems to Ukraine, and uh, there were some uh, um, provisions uh, set for the Ukrainian army, saying that you can't, you know, uh, hit Russian targets there. You can hit this far. You have this, uh, you know, uh, the range is set to sixty or miles or something like that and don't hit the Russians over there it was like what's going on here there was another question then it was the um, when the attack on the Navy ship the Admiral uh, you know in Moskva um, then the, the main ship of the Russian Navy in the Black Sea which was called Moskva which Mos Moscow and it was uh, hit by they say by the um, 
Ukrainian made uh, missiles and uh, I had doubts right there that was for me it was like a, all the doubts kind of like dispersed when I heard that uh, that uh, ship was hit by the Ukrainians I said hmm I'm not denying that they might have the you know military capability without the Americans uh, to hit with something that it's a uh, you know it uh, it, it's um, native born or native created um, but then there were some hits that the uh, HIMARS were able to perform where that has to, had to be guided from somewhere else not uh, I don't think the Ukrainians were able and then there were some articles stating that uh, and some statements actually uh, made by the U, uh, US officials uh, Pentagon saying that um, actually they helped Ukraine uh, hit that target and they you know kind of like show where and then where to hit and uh, they assist them with intelligence and then they say Shh, Shh. and the uh, Russians said oh, this is direct involvement and then they said yeah we help them we, we tell them another our, our articles claim that the Americans are telling them what to hit when to hit and they like uh, you know you, you take a guy by the you go hunting with him you know like the, some go like this hunting uh, you are the guy with the gun I'm the great biggest hunter here so I'm gonna kill an animal so you got the um, uh, guide with you and the guide grabs you by the collar and grabs you like a kid gets you in the forest or whatever and shows you the animal and says now you shoot the guy oh, wait a second now go boom and the great hunter takes a picture with the great animal so that's what it seems to to be in this case with the Americans being the guide and uh, Ukrainians being the great hunter uh, it doesn't matter because it works and I mean in the end they reach their target their goals but make no mistake this is how it works the Americans tell them when how how far that you can't hit that yeah you can hit that that's per the per, per statement it's not me you know I just dreamt it last night or something and now Shoigu comes and say that uh, says that is not you know like oh my god surprise it might be surprised for some people and some people say ah he's lying ah he's just blaming if you look back articles coming from Ukrainska Pravda from a new voice of Ukraine and statements made by the American officials and not like un, un, uh, unnamed sources or you know anonymous sources no people with names I made videos on those they are over there so it's just uh, that's true it's a proxy war and all this are planned by at least I know the Americans and I would not be surprised if the uh, British uh, uh, military is involved and I also think that they have the Americans and the British uh, uh, they have forces active forces this is my assumption and I don't have evidence but I will be very 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 surprised like 99% surprised if they don't have active combating troops combatant troops over there I will be very surprised or even uh, uh, units operating the high Mars I would be surprised and they I don't do you think they let the Ukrainians use their weapons like that maybe they do but I again I very much doubt that but I'm 99.9% certain that uh, the military uh, uh, actions that are planned by the Americans in the first place I don't know about the Brits probably they have different sectors where they activate where they uh, are active operate thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just